On today's video I will show you how you can apply this effect to your own photos. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn Photoshop and enable notifications so you don't miss anything. <laughs> Let me show you what we exactly going to do here. So if you look at Stranger Things like poster, artwork, stuff like that, you will see this effect is applied to most of these images. So if you look at this, you can see here it's rim light effect and all these color grading. It's like one style they have for all these images. If you look at this one, it's also the same. And for this, it also al almost looks like a cartoon or something. So in this video, I will show you how you can create this type of effect on a photo. So first thing to do here, it comes down to you need a good quality photo. If you're going to use your mobile phone, it's not going to work because the photo is just not good enough for for creating these type of things. So make sure you have a normal photo. I will use a example photo just from a stock site. So I'll put a link in the description which one I use. So let's just jump into it. All right, let's look at this poster here. We have some rim lights here going on. Here, here, and all these places on its face and here on its head. And the color reflections here are red. We can see here red going on because this background here has like a red fireworks going on. So you want to make sure you make these areas red. And on this side, you can see the fireworks is here. It's not red. It's like almost white to yellow. So you want to make sure you create this side like a little bit of white yellowish also here. So you can see all these little details here that makes this post really cool. So let's use this for, I'm going to use this photo as an example to recreate this effect. So let's just first quickly get rid of this background here. All right, let's start off with making these colors right. So you can see here, this color is a little bit bluish and a little bit red on this side. So let's first make these colors right. So let's go to hue and situation and slightly edit these. Make sure to press this so we only affect this layer. And slightly want to edit this color. So I'm going to make it a little bit more red. So I feel like it's a little bit too green now. And let's drop the situation slightly here. Like that. Next, I want to add some color balance. Don't forget this again. And this time I'm going to add some blue to this. Like that. Maybe a little bit this one. Let's also do the darker tones here. So make sure these darker areas are also blue. And let's check the highlights. A little bit more red. So this was before and this is after. It's a little bit closer now. All right, let's also, why is this floating here around? It's annoying. All right, let's also do the rim lights now. So for the rim lights, I'm gonna create a new layer here and make a clipping mask. Now I want to go to your brushes. So I'm going to select just a general brush, soft round brush. Let's make this smaller. And for the color, I'm going to pick white. So let's start off with the right side of his face. Move this here. And you want to make sure to have the hardness at zero now and the opacity and flow at 100. Maybe you can even increase the hardness slightly here, say around 20-30%. So first I'm going to make a little line here, so on this side. As you can see where you get to spots like this when, for instance, this hair, you can see it really well. So you don't want to do it too much. Just slightly on the edge, this hair here. And when you get to places like this, make the brush smaller. So you can do this really precisely. 
you don't want to overdo this when you overdo this it doesn't look right and just a big mess all right let's do one side first or else i'm gonna be really long painting here so this is like the first rim light here and when you create this little line just create a mask and take a black brush and let's increase the hardness here and remove some of this line on the inside of so I made this image like like really blue like this one so this is because it's like a night scene so you don't want to do this when the image is like daylight because when you're at daylight you have more colors instead of all that blue so don't do this at daylight do this only at like dark portals and these kind of scenes so this is the first line you create first a little white outer line all right so this is the first outer line next we're gonna create a new layer and also make a clipping mask and this time i'm gonna drop the opacity and flow let's say around 50 percent but i'm still gonna use white as a color maybe even less well let's do 50 first and now we're creating let's do even less around 40. And now i can create a bigger bigger reflection inside this this guy here so first we create like this hard edge so really white from the reflection after that we make it softer and we join another another line all right next is the color so first we have this these lines these reflections and now we can add some color to it so let's move this slightly to the right i'm gonna you can see this better so you can see here he has some blue on his face going on and this side is red so let's try to create the same effect so let's do this on a new layer again create a new layer and this time i'm gonna select like this bluish purplish color don't forget to make a clipping mask again and here we can drop the hardness and the opacity let's say around 20 percent you don't want to have this too much let's make this bigger now so you can drop the the opacity and flow and when you drop that really low you can do it a couple of times so for instance if you want a little bit more here you just press a couple of times there right next thing we need to do here is to change the blend mode of this color because this is way too light now and we don't want it like that so the best way to do that is to change the blend modes here here we have blend modes that make it lighter and these make it darker and here we have some color changes so as you can see this is way too light so we need to make it darker so we either select one of these or we select one of these because these are colors so color works really well so you can either use this one as you can see this looks pretty good or you can try one of these so overlay also works but you will get less color so this really depends on what you want so i think this looks okay and if you want more color just duplicate it layer like that but this is too much for this one i'm gonna leave it like this or i can use color let's use color for this one right next thing is the other side so the other side is red so let's just make a new layer and create clipper mask again and i'm gonna draw the rim light again so i'm gonna fast forward this or else it will be too long so i'm gonna use white again and just draw that little line
all right let's do the color now from the left side so let's create a new layer and make the mask and now we need to pick something red so i'm just gonna click on this hair here pick this color it's a little bit pinkish reddish and i'm gonna draw some red reflections on this side of him now so i'm gonna drop the hardness to zero and let's opacity blow also really low i don't want to have too much just a little bit and start brushing these areas maybe a little bit more need some more color here so i'm gonna go a little bit more to the red it's a little bit pinkish now As you can see here, it also has this reflection here on his arm, but we don't have that here, so I'm just gonna do it here. Right, that is sometimes you brush and it's too much, then just press Control Command Z. Let's also do his face on this side. I don't don't want to do it too much on his face unless it's just room here let's also do this clothing here making just like red spots everywhere to have an idea where this color is on this clothing all right now we need to change this blend mode again so i'm gonna check how this looks so it's either color again this looks pretty okay or one of these so this is way too much so i'm gonna go for color again here and now we can brush even more if you want some more reflections you can brush more you don't want to overdo this just brush with less less opacity and flow and do it a couple of times to get something that you like you can see this white line on this arm going on this rim light so if you want to create these white lines just use the pen tool so for instance if you want to create this white line here you want to make sure to make a selection of this side of his arm so like that just on the left side and close it make selection let's leave the radius at zero pixels so we have a hard edge and with the brush you can just brush this white so just use it like this Make sure to bring up the opacity and flow here. So we have a really white line here. So if you want to do this really precisely, just zoom in a lot and draw first a big white line and after that just either make a mask and put a black brush, get rid of it again. So I don't want to have it on his finger here. You can see here it's also a little bit on this finger so if you want to go into details you can do that everywhere on these little pieces but i'm not going to do that or else it's going to be take me going to take me a long time so i'm just going to do it like this to show you how to fix that and let me put this here too so you can compare this so i think you got a clear idea of how this works with all these color grading and these reflections so try it with your own photo and see how that works out and you can spend a lot of time on getting all these little things right. So I'm gonna leave it by this, I think you have an idea of what to do if you wanna create this. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you do. And until then, see you in the next video.